SGC here, and we are back with a movie review. Oh my goodness, Captain America The Winter Soldier, directed by Anthony Rousseau and Joe Rousseau. The brothers have worked on Arrested Development and Community, and the last movie they directed has You, Me, and Dupree back in 2006, so there was no expectations from them, really, in terms of just their past films. But anyway, so, the plot, the plot, the plot, the plot. Captain America Winter Soldier is about the Winter Soldier in terms of just him popping out and just wrecking havoc, and then the S.H.I.E.L.D. development of Steve Rogers and just him not agreeing with how Nick Fury runs things and that's pretty much the plot you go in with what you see in the trailers and that's all you need and that's all I'm gonna say now and yeah so the casting so we have returning people Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson, Sebastian Stan, Kobe Smothers, Haley Atwell and Samuel L. Jackson and we got new folks Anthony Mackie, Frank Grillo, Emily Van Camp, Robert Redford so 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 the first thing I have to say that is th this movie did the best thing is that this is how you do a sequel. It builds off everything that was established before back in Captain America First Avenger and Avengers and now this all these existing relationships are growing and new relationships are added on and it's just like this conflict that was brewing in the Avengers is being tapped into and, and explored even further and the action action was amazing the shots were amazing so pretty much this sequel was awesome so really comparing the phase two movies that we have so far Iron Man 3, Thor 2, Captain America obviously Cap, Thor, Iron Man Cap throughout the entire film I would say was amazing in terms of just story acting, dialogue, shot, cinematography like everything overall was just great I would say this is even better than Avengers because really Avengers only had it going for was it set pieces of just iconic people being in the same shot together that was the biggest thing for me for Avengers but here throughout Captain America it's like this this just the storyline is based on like this really crazy issue that has to be dealt with and the threats were big and dangerous so really when you look back I mean comparing the Avengers to Cap 2 here Cap 2 here really pushes forward the whole superhuman Captain America. He does some crazy stuff. Even the first opening sequence, he takes down pretty much entire like container ship, and it was just amazing. Sure, the ways that he throws his shield is super inhumane and totally does not even make sense. But it looks so cool that you're just like, it's a comic. It's okay. I'll go with it. Um, I really love the different action sequences here, hand-to-hand -hand combats, crazy car chases. Really love the angles that they took here, and. I guess the biggest thing for me was the action set piece was the Falcon. Falcon sort of took me a while to be bought that this actually would work because sometimes it, it, it maybe went into the realm of comic too much that Vulcan's character just sort of, would that actually exist sort of thing. I mean Cap being superhuman like that's sort of just an exaggerated crazy human being that can fight really well and then Natasha is just a crazy you know CIA agent sort of thing. But Falcon, on the other hand, seems kind of out there. But but beyond that, I was I was sold with more action pieces, and yeah, I really loved how they build on what was established. Already. We have Steve Rogers and Natasha's relationship growing as they have those banter conversations about just hey, who are you gonna see? You gonna ask this girl out? Like it, they're just so nonchalant when they talk about it. And the relationship between Sam and Steve was done well too, even though that. Um, Sam was a new character here and the way that they dealt with him how they introduced him was really done well and the way that they invited him to the team was also done well and also we have this new senior officer of the shield played by Robert Redford really interesting to have this sort of uh, character where they dealt with more of a with the Nick Fury mentality and where he's from and sort of stuff. so that background stuff is done well there also we have um, Sebastian Stan playing some crazy action sequences and yeah so pretty much everything was amazing in this movie and I think who were key members they had their key moments and who were members that showed up but didn't have much they did their part sort of thing I mean uh, Kobe Smolders, uh, Mariah Hill showed up here and there and she like had the punch when she showed up and um, I said I guess one issue I had was probably Emily Van Camp's character agent 13 Sharon she I don't know 
why they would introduce her at the stage with yet so little screen time. I sort of wish that she had more screen time, which would also go into the actual Winter Soldier. Like, when you think about it, Winter Soldier is like this crazy threat that shows up, boom, and leaves. And it's like, whoa, what the hell happened sort of thing. And to call a movie by Winter Soldier, it's like sort of... You would expect it more Winter Soldier when the tagline is Winter Soldier. But I mean, if you strip Winter Soldier away, there's still some crazy story here. And I really did enjoy that. I'm, I'm so glad that despite how the trailers are being shot, that everyone thinks it's super Winter Soldier um, focused, but it's not. There's so much more out there. There's a bigger story. They're setting up things, and it's just wow, wow, wow. Um, obviously, I'm not going to spoil the movie here for you, so I'm going to make like a spoiler review or spoiler just discussion of things that I saw and heard like at the end of this video you can click there and we'll talk more there so yeah so pretty much I enjoy this movie a lot a lot a lot a lot so yeah I mean I, I Captain America is my bias in the Marvel Universe so I'm happy that his sequel did very well and I'm yeah just I just going back again like all the building blocks or like they're building on something that's established already they're not really trying anything from scratch and yeah everything was awesome and and yeah so really there wasn't anything that I disliked even pacing issues was fine like there were down times but it was like when Steve Rogers had to deal with the issues that were at hand it was fine action sequences were amazing so I guess the only slight issue I had with like the screen time of Winter Soldier and or Agent 13 that's pretty much it and yeah so um, for for the first time though to say the first time that I'm in the theater when I'm watching an after credit scene and no one left, I was so shocked that like no one stood up. And, you know, finally a theater realizes there's an after credit scene and they stay. And lo and behold, all I gotta do is say to you as a viewer that you better stay till the credits are actually done. So that's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this movie review for Captain America. Winter Soldier. It was amazing, 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 amazing. Go watch it. And yeah, I think the last thing I have to say is that this movie really will make fans happy, like the Marvel movie fans happy, yet it will also make the comic Marvel fans happy. I think it's a it's a really good like it it was it was a great film. That's all I'm going to say. It, it did well in terms of it where it appeases the, the strictly movie fans and also comic fans. Like there's like nods with both directions. That there's enough nods to comic fans that comic fans are not gonna feel like oh it's just another like adaptation of a storyline that's already been done. But no, yeah, you're gonna appreciate more of your comic fan because you know more of the universe. And okay, I'm done. I'm gonna stop talking here. I'm gonna talk more at, on the spoiler video somewhere here. See you there. And that's pretty much it. Go watch it, Captain America 2. Man, 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 man. So awesome stuff. Uh, leave a comment below and try not to spoil anything for anybody. Spoil it all in the spoiler video. But if you have any questions or discussions, we'll talk it here or somewhere there. Anyway, that's all. This is Captain America Winter Soldier Review.